Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we're at Aura Funky Cat here in a drizzly United Kingdom. We're going to talk about the United Kingdom spec, but also the Irish and the European spec, so there is a slight difference in it. There will be chapters below. Let's get into it. Before we start off, you might be wondering who are Aura? I've never heard of this brand before. So it is a totally EV brand coming in from China and its parent company is Great Wall Motors. I've been in the business since 1984. Um, last year annual revenue of 16.6 billion pounds. Have nearly 60,000 employees. But this is the Funky Cat, which is their halo car coming into Europe. We have other models coming down the line. We're gonna talk about the outside, have a look on the inside and then take it out for a spin. Starting off at the front and styling wise, it is definitely something unique on the road up against the likes of Hyundai Kona, uh, ID3, Cooper Bourne, Renault Megane, MG4, MGZS. So there's lots of competition, but I don't think you're gonna mistake this for anything else on the road. Styling, as I talked about, is the front of it is very uh, electric mini. It is uh, our mini one and not just the electric version. It is Porsche with these uh, indentations or these uh, ridges on the front. Uh, the designer of the, or a part of the design team is X Porsche Design. You are looking at um, Fiat 500e, so lots of styling cues. But this is the Aurora with the white two-tone. So in the United Kingdom for the launch edition, you're going to get four different colors. In Ireland and other markets, you're going to get a lot more. Today's sponsor of the video is Nevo.ie. So if you want to see what colors we're getting in the Irish market, pop over there and you can also book your test drives. Dealers wise in Ireland, they're about to be announced in the United Kingdom. They have already announced a couple. You've got uh, Lookers and you also have Peter Vardy Group. So starting to build up those household brands. But I'm told for the Irish market, we are gonna get household dealership names that we, we know already. The brand badge is an exclamation mark. So it's young, it's cool, it's funky. Uh, these styling wise, you've got these on every trim model. So in the United Kingdom, you're gonna have uh, first edition, which is the only one they're launching with, which has the 48 kilowatt hour battery. And then in Ireland, we're gonna have uh, 300 Pro and 400 Pro Plus, uh, and that's the 48 kilowatt hour and the 63 kilowatt hour. So what I might do is in the chapters below, talk about the UK spec specifically in one chapter, and then the Irish chapter talk about, we have a slightly bigger range of colors, bigger range of batteries. Usually it's the other way around. We're looking over at the United Kingdom at models that we don't have in Ireland, but now you can start to see what's going to be coming potentially down the line for the UK market. But LED lights, and I'll open and close it so you can see these lighting sequences. First edition, the difference is that you're going to get in the United Kingdom is you're going to get this beautiful key case. You are going to get uh, first edition badging internally, and you're also going to get the uh, first edition floor mats. Uh, but that's the only difference. So you can see these are going to be the indicators as well. And then when we turn it on, it has this beautiful little sequence lights and then a blink of indicator as well uh, so led lights front and rear and um, you've got this like a little kind of a faint outline of a hexagonal like a big like snake skin kind of effect just that tiny little design language here here Perfect position for potentially fog lights, but no need with the LEDs. Uh, and you've got that, uh, the ability for air to pop in here because you don't have a traditional grill for cooling the battery pack. With the 48 hour, it is lithium ion phosphate. And then the, the larger, this is a bit different battery chemistry for the larger battery pack. No frunk in underneath the front of it. Moving down along the side, you've got 18 inch wheels, the same on both models. Uh, and there will be a GT version coming at some stage with a slightly different design. Uh, front left side is the charging port and it has 6.6 .6 on domestic home uh, AC single phase. If you're lucky enough then to have tri triple phase, um, you're going to be getting up 11 kilowatts. So that would be a lot of the public charging or commercial buildings, the likes of here. Uh, offices would have three phase power. So the chargers that they put in can go up to 11 kilowatts. And then on DC, it can go up to 64 kilowatt. So 20 to 80 percent in about 43 minutes on the smaller battery and about 50 odd minutes on the larger battery. But not the fastest charging speed on DC, but uh, capable for the Irish market anyway. Um, and 
you're just splashing and dashing anyway. This is the two-tone, so as we talked about, so in the UK, you've got four different colors. You've got that kind of a uh, minty green solid. You've got solid black, starry black, and then you've got the Aurora green with the white, and you've got a red with a black roof. Uh, we've about another five or six different color combinations within the Irish market. Large wing mirror indicator built in, retractable as you can see here, and it also has the um, blind spot indicator on it as well. Good size chunky doors. Uh, on the upper level trim in Ireland, the 400 plus, you're gonna have sunroof. You don't have sunroof on the launch edition in the United Kingdom. You've got a black uh, line, um, trim line across the top, but then you've got that chrome across the shoulder line. The actual shoulder line kind of goes down uh, at the B pillar and then comes back up as the C pillar. Body colored um, doors, door handles, sorry and you have keyless entry, keyless start, which is nice. Down along the bottom then, not too high, but a, a, a scuff plate in a black plastic. You can see the 360 cameras as well. So there's one at the front, two on the wing mirrors, and one on the rear. Good sized doors at the back as well, nearly open 90 degrees. So good access in, we'll talk about the interior in the back. We talked about the wheels already. So that is front and side of the Aurora, the Aurora, the Aura Funky Cat, Aurora is the color. Let's have a look around the back. Down along the rear, you've got that shark fin aerial. You've got that uh, spoiler at the back with that high level brake right. And then one of the only models that I'm aware of in the world, never mind an electric vehicle, is to have the brake light built into the rear back window. Because you don't have your light clusters either side traditionally as you would have it. Then you've got large Aura branding. You've got Funky Cash, the model name. You've got GWN, which is Great Wall Motors, which is the parent company. And down the bottom here, you've got reflectors, but also indicators, reversing lights, and also um, brake light. Um, and your fog light, like the F1 in the middle here at the back. A reversing, a 360 camera and reversing cameras here as well. High definition and what I really like about this, hopefully I'll catch some footage of it, is they do a transparent chassis parking mode. Amazing. Um, boot releases in underneath here. On the first edition in the United Kingdom, that's not powered, but on the 400 Pro Plus in Ireland, it is a powered tail lift. Small little parcel shelf, 280 odd litres of space. So not the largest boot, but not bad actually. And it's a, as much as it's a smaller boot, it's, it's deep, which I think is good because it holds things together. And then there's even a sub well in underneath if you wanted to have um, put cables in, etc., etc. Little light in underneath here, not much else going on. You've got the isofix positions at that. You have a 60-40 split. Um, and then you've got the handle up in underneath here for uh, if anybody gets trapped in the boot. Clamshell design, very Gen 1 Nissan Leaf that everybody's talked about before that looked at this last year when it was released. Uh, initially, things have changed slightly since. Let's have a look on the inside. What's it like inside the Aura Funky Cat? Specifically the first edition in the United Kingdom, but there's not much difference as you get the floor mats and you get a small bit of first edition badging down here. And in the Ireland market, you'll get 300 Pro plus 300 and the 300, sorry, 300 Pro and then 400 Pro Plus. So door itself, great big chunky side door and on it you have some, a multitude of different materials. You've got soft touch plastic at the top. You've got this kind of wood kind of effect design, nearly like yacht, etc. You've got your lock and unlock. You've got good big door handle. Then you've got that quilted uh, suede. You've got uh, quilted leatherette in the seats. You've got that new book feel on the top of the door handle, some uh, uh, artificial wood. You've got your adjustable wing mirrors and you've got four buttons for the um, windows with the ch uh, window lock button as well. And a good big size door bin um, and, a, and a speaker. Over my right knee then you've got some buttons then where you can open the boot. You can, and I'm presuming on the powered version that would open it up totally. You can adjust your light levels and you also can change your mode. So that's over your knee. Close this door. You can see the facial recognition driver awareness camera here on the A pillar. Starting off. Oh, that's an on off button. That's what that is on the top, on the right hand side. Two spoke steering wheel, two tone on this one. The standard color will be black with blue, blue stitching. But and if you go for some of the uh, more colorful options like the reds or the greens, you can option this on it as well. 
So two tone, two spoke steering wheel. You've got some haptic feedback buttons, volume up down on the left hand side and on the right hand side, then you've got home menu selection, etc. And you've got two shortcut keys as well. Over on the right hand stock, it is wipers, etc. And on the left hand stock, it is lights. Another stock that I didn't see in behind the steering wheel was the cruise control stock over my left knee. Nice clear driver display, 10.25 inch screen, and then beside that then set in beautifully into that new book feeling um, dash, you have the 10.25 uh, inch infotainment screen as well, and that is um, touch screen. So you've got um, on the all trims, you've got navigation, uh, satellite navigation, you have internet music, which is uh, the first 12 months are complimentary. Um, and so you can set the country that you're in. So I can set it for Ireland. Even though I'm here in the United Kingdom, I have all the Irish stations. So if you've got somebody that's not from the country that this is based in and they want to listen to home radio, uh, it's great to hear it. Very responsive with regards to the actual touch screen, etc. And we're going to do the voice assistant once we're out and about. But I believe, hello, Aura. Yes, I'm here. Put down the driver window. Hello, Aura. What's that? Close the driver window. All right, fine. You've got that central vent system, two in the middle, one either side, then one for the driver, one for the passenger. You've got very mini inspired toggle switches underneath here, so you can put your air conditioning on or off, um, and you can set the temperature dual zone. Uh, beautifully designed and as I said, very responsive with regards to what it's um, the ability to change, et cetera, et cetera. Now, all climate control is controlled through the screens, uh, aircon on and off, hazard lights, uh, rear and front demisters. Moving down into the center console, then you have the USB type A. You have USB type A, one specifically for data, but you don't need the connection because you have wireless, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay again, which I think these are small things, but they're all starting to add up. Beside that, then you also have a 12 volt cigarette lighter. Um, you have your place for putting your key. You've got your two cup holders down here. Um, then you've got your central console with the large knurled dial so you can uh, D for drive, neutral, and then reverse, park, handbrake, auto handbrake, drive modes we'll talk about when we're out, Qi wireless charging pad in the center console and another little spot, and then underneath that then another large console. Lockable glove box, which you don't see in a lot of cars, and it's actually not a bad size. Um, up in the head unit, you've got sunglass holders on the 400 Pro Plus model in the Irish market, you will have a sunroof, not on the 300 and not on the first edition here in the United Kingdom. You've got your lights and you've got your SOS button, etc. And then you've got your vanity mirrors, but they don't have lights um, built into them on both sides. So yeah, it's, an, it's, it's a nice feeling, quality, etc. place to be. The seats are really nicely supported, but I'm gonna bring it out for a drive now in a minute. Uh, this seat is set for me moving forward so uh, electric seats for driver and passenger and then on the 400 model uh, 400 pro plus model in the irish market that will be heated seats heated steering wheel you also have massage seats front driver and passenger and you also have memory on the 400 pro for the um for the driver which is good let's turn off the aircon yeah Nice. Uh, steering wheel has reach and rake as well, which is good. Some markets don't have the uh, reach and rake, they only have the up and down. On the infotainment screen, you have something called a skilled tree, skill tree. And it talks about that I've only discovered, this car has only been discovered 7% of the actual skills that you can talk to the virtual assistant. So it talks about, I think there's 300 commands that you can do, whether it's navigation, climate, windows, turning up and down the brightness on the screens. And some of what I've seen so far, really impressive quality wise. Auto dimming uh, rear view mirror as well, but frameless, which is nice. Let's have a seat in the back and see what it's like for me at my height. I'm a six foot two, 188 centimeters. What's it like in the back of the Aura Funky Cat? That seat set for me, plenty of space underneath the legs, underneath the seats. Um, not bad, actually. I know that the actual seat bench could be a small bit higher, but because of that battery packing underneath the floor, but not bad thigh support, but the fact that I can sit back and relax. Uh, headroom, it's really nice. 
maybe three or four centimeters for me. Leg room, as I said, about two or three centimeters. And so you've got that color coded, depending on the interior model, you've got that stripe effect and you have that quilted effect on the door with that wood effect. On the How far down does the window go? All the way, kids will be happy. Anybody in the back will be happy. Really nice and a decent spice um, door bin as well. USB type uh, A in the back port, which is great in the back of the center console. And you've got two USB type, uh, sorry, two Isofix, three headrests, and you've got your 60-40 uh, split with that armrest built in with some uh, rubber cup holders. Central seat is a small bit raised, so would you fit three adults in the back? Well, not bad there. Knee is starting to touch the seat, but headroom is still very good. Another two or three centimeters there. As I said, I'm 188 centimeters, six foot two. Build quality is great. Yeah, really well finished. Space is really good. Um, and the space in the back is probably to the detriment, a small bit of the, um, the boot. But if you're carrying people around on a regular basis, if there's not a lot of luggage on a regular basis, this is perfect. Let's take it out for a drive. Before we take it out for a drive, let's talk about this video's partner. This video is in partnership with Nevo.ie, Ireland's dedicated EV website. Nevo's on a mission to create seamless transition for electric driving for everybody. You can browse different trim levels, and specifically for this Aura Funky Cat, you can go in and see the nine different color combinations that we're getting in the Irish market. All of them there on the carousel. You can change the angle of the car as well if you want to see what it looks like from different angles. Once you've selected your color, you can click which model you want and then request a test drive. So go to nevo.ie, it's time to go to electric. The reversing cameras and the 3D cameras on this car are amazing. So stick it into reverse and you've got this transparent chassis mode. And then so when you can, you know, the space that you're reversing into, you can see exactly where you're going. Amazing. Probably one of the best reversing cameras I've ever seen. Beautiful. All the way back. Really nice. But the reason we're in the car is to see what it's like driving. Front wheel drive, which is different for a lot of its competitors. Um, it's nice. Good weight at the steering wheel. Visibility is good. Actually, wouldn't you with that small rear view, uh, that mirror, that window, it's actually not bad. As long as the headrests are down, we're okay. Modes wise, we have normal mode, sports mode, all the different bings and blongs, and eco mode. And then there's auto mode. So there's four different modes available. What I find is there's also an eco plus. There's one pedal drive, in which I'm a big fan of. You just go into the vehicle menu, and then you've got the three different recuperation levels, light, medium, or strong. You've got the uh, AC automatic, adaptive cruise control automatic limit. Uh, you've got Eco Plus mode, which talks about putting, bringing down the um, AC limit, etc. And then there's single pedal mode. So I'm in single pedal mode now. It's a one pedal function. They call it E-pedal on the actual. Uh, you've got... Uh, ESC on or off, and then electric power assist steering, so you can change the weight of it. Yeah, it's nice. Oh my. Seats are nice, actually. It's, it, the fact that it's the Alcantara in the seat, leatherette on the side, different colours, and then the back it's got that quilted Overall, it's really good. So it's a 126 kilowatt motor, giving you 169 brake horsepower, 171 PS, 250 newton meters of torque. Got a blind spot there. Let's try out the voice assistant on the motorway. Hello, Aura. Set temperature to 18 degrees. A 
I was able to change the kilometers to miles over in, uh, in within the, the dashes well, within the driver within the infotainment cluster. There is uh, light mode, dark mode, and then automatic mode, which is good as well. So Ed from Aura was able to show me how to set all that around, which was great. Nice display, and even though it's a square screen, what they've done is they've curved the information and the, the little inf the um, icons for the different e pedals and um, blind spot warning, etc., on the screen. So even though it's a circular steering wheel, which is unusual, um, it is. I want to set the hello aura. Navigate to home. Not showing me exactly. It's keeping me in lane anyway. A nice little bling and a blong to let me know that the, I'm veering out of lane. You can change the actual screen. Today is the first drive, first impressions. Looking forward to getting this back in Ireland. Looking forward to seeing the differences between the 300 Pro and the 400 Pro Plus. That front wheel drive is a bit of concern for some people because over 50% of the time in the UK and Ireland we have wet roads and some people would prefer front wheel drive for the electric motor is pulling people rather than rear wheel drive and it's pushing people. So yeah, definitely traction and where the motor is based um, it's, 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 a, it's a query for some people. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. We're on a drive to 12,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Let me know in the comments if the Aura Cash, Funky Cash, good cash in certain markets, but the Funky Cash here in Europe, if it's on your shopping list, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? I answer every single comment. The seating position is great. I really like the, first of all, the quality of the seats, number one. Number two, the visibility, the, 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 the rake of the actual um, windscreen is great. The A pillar is a bit thick, but it's not bad. And you've got a little quarter light down at the front. As I said, those wing mirrors are uh, really nice on that rear view. You've got a lot of driver assist as well on this vehicle. You've got lane centering, lane keep. Um, you have reverse um, tra crossing traffic, reverse alert, plus uh, brake. Hello, Aura. I'm listening. Increase the temperature by two degrees. Okay, I've raised the temperature in driver area to 20 degrees. It's a very impressive voice assistant, in fairness to it. Okay, so this shortcut on the left-hand side has been programmed for cameras. On the right-hand side, it's aircon. Okay, nice. As promised at the beginning, I was going to go through exactly what you're getting in the United Kingdom with regards to first edition, so you can see it on the, on the screen there. Uh, very well specced out, a lot of, um, as we talked about, the ADAS systems like lane keep, rear traffic cross alert and brake, comfort and convenience, keyless entry and start, the charging speeds are there. Um, and then what I didn't talk about is actually the warranties, etc. So uh, in whatever market you're in, you're going to have five year um, unlimited mileage warranty, eight year on the battery, five year on the paint, 12 year anti-corrosion. Uh, it's also Euro NCAP 5 star as well. So this is the first edition for the United Kingdom. Then over here in Ireland, you're going to get the differences. You're going to get the uh, standard range battery, which is a 300. You can see there and the retail price of 31995. Very well specced. And again, all of the warranties at the bottom. Five year NCAP, five year unlimited warranty, eight year on the battery and the powertrain. And then the 400 Pro, the bigger battery and what you get with that as well. So... Lots of information on the screen there you can pause at your own. Hopefully you've enjoyed my review of the Aura Funky Cat. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Leave a comment, like the video and share. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.